Good evening, everybody. My name is Cami Todoldi, and I'm the K through 12 music department head. And I just want to welcome you to our eighth grade portion of our concert this evening. And it's just so wonderful to have you with us tonight. So thank you for being here. I also want to say hello to our friends who are tuning in via live stream. And thank you to Foxborough Cable Access and the wonderful volunteers who make that possible for us. A couple of housekeeping pieces before we move on. If you don't mind taking a moment to scan that QR code just in case we do need to contact Trace. Um, secondly, we ask that you silence any noise making devices. And lastly, if you do need to exit the auditorium, we ask that you do that in between pieces as to not distract our performers uh, from the hard work that they have done to get to this point tonight. And then lastly, for our eighth grade families who are in the audience tonight, next week we hope that you can join us at the high school that we're having an open house uh, for our rising ninth graders. And we will have representatives from the music department there, students, uh, myself will be there. Uh, so if you have any questions about the music department at the high school, please track me down. I'll probably be in the gym area along with the other students. And you'll see some of our students performing in the hallways as well. So it'll be a really nice event for you to get to see Foxborough High School and all of the amazing things that we have to offer up there, not just musically, but academically, co-curricularly, and from the athletic side. It's a great place. So we hope to see you there. You can always reach out to me too via email if you have any questions. So without further ado, I would like to introduce to you Mr. Alvaro and the eighth grade concert band. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, that was a very famous piece. You might have heard it in movies, commercials by Edvard Grieg, a very famous Scandinavian composer. Some of the skills we're working on right now, if you notice that piece gradually sped up, 
one of the skills we're really focusing on is uh, learning how to follow the conductor through tempo changes, which is a more advanced concept than they've necessarily done in the past. Um, we're working on producing bigger, more mature sounds on our instruments using fast air is, is a big theme of what we've been working on right now. Our second and final piece called Tribal Drums. Uh, I also want to thank my colleagues, Ms. Greenleaf, Mr. Glynn, for helping out tonight. And I uh, hope you enjoyed Tribal Drums. Thank you and welcome to the orchestra portion of our concert. Um, as you notice, we're, we're actually going to be performing as a chamber ensemble, which is really cool because it means that you're going to perform without a conductor. Um, so that means that it takes us a lot of teamwork, it takes a lot of nonverbal communication, it makes us use our ears, it also helps us read body language when we learn to play, and it makes us all take ownership of the product. So we've been working together as a group. Um, we're fortunate with the size of the ensemble to be able to do that. Um, so that's been part of what we're doing. So if you're going, 
where's the conductor? I'll actually be in there playing with them, uh, but, but where I'm in there kind of coaching them along through the chamber process, so that's pretty cool. So we're gonna start off with a piece for you called Fantasia for Strings. You're gonna notice it's a fast, slow, fast form. Um, probably the last time you heard them was, was, I believe, String Fest. We were talking about that today. String Fest, um, sixth grade? Last time they were on stage. So we're excited to have them up here as eighth graders performing totally different repertoire than you last heard them play. And then we're gonna close out uh, our set with a very special guest who I will introduce in a little bit to you. So we will start with Fantasia for Strings.
thank you very much. And lastly, we are going to close our, out our set together. Um, and we're going to welcome to the stage Mr. Albro, who's going to play some rock drums for us. But someone who you might all recognize, our very own Mr. Williams, who is our eighth grade social studies teacher. Maybe you didn't know, he shreds a pretty mean guitar. <laughs> so we're excited to have him with us in any opportunity we can collaborate with our own faculty in the building, we take the opportunity. So Mr. Williams did this with us maybe nine or 10 years ago, Mr. Williams, I don't know. Yeah. It was a while ago. Yeah. Um, but uh, so we're excited to have him with us today and we thank you, Mr. Williams, for spending time with us and for our students getting to see Mr. Williams do something that he loves as well. So please enjoy and uh, enjoy smoke on the water. Thank you. 
Thank you, everyone. We're going to do a quick set change for our jazz band. And uh, we'll be right back. saxophone. Awesome. Thank you. That was a uh, traditional New Orleans jazz um, a song called Second Line. And the traditional experience is actually to walk in a marching parade type of thing in New Orleans and play and jam out to that song. So we tried to make that as authentic as we could in this auditorium. So thanks so much for that. This is the Ahern Jazz Band. In case you've never heard us before, this is a band um, that consists of sixth and eighth graders. Um, and we, you know, we offer for seventh graders. We don't happen to have any seventh graders in the band. But we do have um, mul multiple eighth graders and multiple sixth graders in this group. This is a group that, that rehearses after school. So all of these students choose to come after school to learn the idiom of jazz, which is super cool. We learn not only a little bit about jazz music, but we learn about improvisation, which is what you just heard JJ do, where we talk about what notes work really well to actually create your own melody. So that was his own melody he created in that moment that was not written down or anything like that, which I think is very cool and a kind of a unique way of expressing yourself on your musical instrument. So we have two more tunes for you, uh, so I want to keep it rolling. So I appreciate uh, you guys hanging out, especially during all the, su the set changes. So we really love playing for a good audience. So we're going to play another song for you. This is a rock swing tune. It's called Fat Burger. Thank you. 
Sam and JJ on solos. Thank you so much. Cool. Oh, we have one more song for you. Um, and it's a, a song that's like a, a jazz, like a swing tune. Sorry, oh my gosh, words. A uh, swing tune, but it's an up-tempo um, tune. It's called Night Cruiser. And uh, it will feature one of our trombone players. So we hope you enjoy Night Cruiser. Big shout out, by the way, to my rhythm section, drums, bass, and piano. That is a tricky thing to do, being on your own instrument. So thank you, and thanks, Mr. Glenn and Mr. Albro, for helping out. We hope you enjoy Night Cruiser. sticking around for the jazz band, really. Have an excellent night. Thanks again for coming. Awesome job, you guys. Awesome.